Koh Phangan, an island southeast of mainland Thailand, known for its pristine beaches, tropical waterfalls, picturesque temples, and lush jungle. We're here for four days in this tropical island paradise. Join us as we visit the top three best voted beaches and visit the aptly named Paradise Waterfalls, a hidden oasis. We'll show you all there is to eat on the island and visit the best night markets for traditional Thai food. This is What's Next with Myra and Danny, and join us as we explore Koh Phangan. So we're about to board the ferry or speedboat as it is to Koh Phangan. We've been staying in Koh Samui for the last four nights and um, so it's just a short trip, about 45 minutes north of the island to Koh Phangan. Okay, so we're finally in Koh Phangan. Uh, we're gonna be staying here for three days. The first stop for us is one of the best beaches in Koh Phangan called Koma Beach. So it looks like you can stay in these like cabanas. Really nice. And this is the walkway towards the beach. Very scenic. <laughs> Take this one and come with me, just that. What is it? Like? There are like 100 plus bushes. So we're gonna show you now the connecting strip of land that connects uh, this part of the beach to a small little island. Small little island. So we're staying in a resort called Cookie Salad. Salad because the name of the area and we're right next to Salad Beach and cookies apparently the owners wanted something funny and it's surrounded by this lush tropical forest which makes you feel like you're in the middle of a jungle and we paid around 50 euro per night with breakfast included so we were really really happy with the place when we arrived So this is our room where we're staying at Cookie Salad. First we have this outside area here, a nice dining area, kitchenette, and then a small seating area which actually looks over to the beach in the background. Here we have a massive bed. Uh, the mattress is quite hard but we noticed that it's like quite common here in Thailand. Then we have a TV, we have uh, aircon on 24-7, we have a nice area where it looks like a sofa but it's more like a place where we put our luggage. Also another point which I think is very important is that there are a lot of windows that keep the light coming in and it's really lovely. <laughs> a nice wardrobe and believe it or not this is a safe. And then we have the bathroom super nice in here and the kitchen <laughs> which is really big and then with a massive shower 
and here we have a sink and the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so right behind me there is one of the most uh, famous, let's say, uh, night markets in uh, Kopangam. Okay, so the idea tonight is to try skewers and from what I can see already there are like plenty of places and yeah, we'll show you the best ones. So the, the first skewer I'm having is grilled pork. It tastes actually really nice. It's probably like seasoned with some sugar because it's really sweet and shiny, but overall very nice. selection of these fried balls we can't remember what they are but it was a selection of like fish and cheese and stuff so we're each gonna try one and then we have to guess what the flavor is so it looks like uh, Asian arancini balls and topped up with some seaweed and dried fish flakes it's gonna be messy I have the salmon one Really nice. Cheers. And delicious. Cheers. I can't say what is this one. I think squid. I could not guess. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm trying is a deep fat fried spring roll with chicken covered with uh, sweet chili sauce. Mm. It's really moist. I, I can't really feel the chicken, but I, th I see there are like more vegetables inside. Okay, so now we're trying uh, a meat skewer made with organ meat. So basically this is a chicken liver. It's definitely something that only I'm gonna have because Maya, she doesn't like liver. And it's covered in some red sauce. It looks like spicy, but I don't know. That's right. The liver is very tough to chew and the sauce is like ketchup. <laughs> That's why I'm not a massive fan. I'm trying this very heavy skewer of chicken. Nothing mind blowing but it's, it's kind of nice. The chicken's really tender. The sauce is kind of like a peri peri kind of style. Okay, so now we're climbing to the top uh, of this waterfall and we are looking to find a nice uh, sunny spot 
maybe like a natural pool. Okay, so we finally reached the spot where we're gonna stay. On the way back from Paradise Waterfalls, we came across this quite unique salad bar that works as a build your own salad with a huge list of ingredients and dressings. And the price was only 139 baht. We really enjoyed this one. So Malibu Beach actually uh, disappointed us a lot, a little bit. Uh, the water was quite shallow and... It was not much coral reef to explore. Yeah, not super clean as well. There was these really nice white crabs though, the ones that burrow into holes and then come out and make the small tiny sand balls and then use that to um, as like competition with the other crabs but they're completely see-through and they're really cute. <laughs> so this evening we've come to a lovely fish and barbecue restaurant. The owner is actually Italian, one of Danny's. So the owner is uh, called Francesco and uh, the name of the restaurant is Il Barracuda and I met Francesco like 10 years ago when I first came to Thailand and the special thing about this restaurant is that he goes to spare fish the fish in the morning and he serves like super fresh fish in the evening when he opens the restaurant this is carpaccio I don't know what fish it is but it's definitely something fresh fished by Francesco just realized that we have a big friend from the other side of the glass. I never seen a gecko this big. So we've just woken up in cookie salad and we're just having the hotel breakfast. It's not super sunny today. There's quite a lot of cloud cover. So I think I'm gonna do some work from the co-working space and Danny's gonna go and get a haircut. Okay, so today is our last day in Copenhagen and I'm on my way to get a haircut. Uh, a little bit scared because <laughs> I had bad experiences in the past getting a haircut in Thailand, but let's see now. So I'm back from my haircut and I met this like a lovely Thai uh, old man who was really good and very polite and he actually for the first time I can say that I had a good haircut in Thailand. Okay so this afternoon we came to 
Tadiao Beach. Uh, the beach itself is nice, uh, quite wide, and there are quite a lot of bars where you can get drinks like this one. A manga smoothie with the rum. Hello. Okay, so last night in um, Kopangam, we are in uh, Mama's Market, which we found along the way when we were looking for a different restaurant. Now we have here some grilled chicken and a pork skewer, and then some dumplings, vegetables, and chicken. What is it? Pork? Chicken? No. Mm. Grilled chicken. It's really shiny. I think it's the same chicken that I had last time in the Thanzib market, seasoned with some something sweet, probably like honey, some spiciness to it as well. It's really nice. Okay, so for our last night in Kopangam, we decided to come to Amsterdam Bar. And there is like a pretty steep walk. It's more recommended to come here though during like sunset. <laughs> 